In this video, I wanna talk about how we can start collaborating with other people. So at this point in time, if you were to find your repository on GitHub, let's say you have a friend who goes and does this and I'm, I'm gonna log into a different account. And in this other account, I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes, but let's say that you had a link to the other GitHub. Let's say in this case, I am the person you know who you wanna collaborate with and you have sent them a link to your project. So in this case, this is the link that I have sent them and now I am functioning as them and I have this link. This is what I'm gonna see. Now, the interesting thing here is that at any point in time, I can grab this project and pull it to my local machine. Remember earlier how we connected this over inside of Git Kraken and we set up our remote or whatever? Um, since I already have mine set up and I, you can't really switch accounts inside of Get Kraken Free, if they wanted to contribute, they couldn't really push any changes. And the reason is because you don't want random people to just grab your project, make changes, and then push code up and, and affect your work. Now, if you want a collaborator to be able to push changes into your project, you need to invite them to the project. So to do that, I'm gonna switch back to my other account from your account, you would need to send them an invite. So to do that, you would find your repository, just like this. You would go into settings, and you'd go down to manage access. And then right here, you would want to invite a collaborator. This would allow them to make changes and push them into the repository. So you should really only do this with other developers that you, you trust and you would want to work directly with. So in my case, I wanna do this group project with my friend. In this case, it's myself, which is kind of sad, um, but we're going to type in right here, and then you just invite. And then once you do that, they would open up their email and they would see the invitation and they could click that. And at that point, you know, this would change and it would show that they have access. So once they do that, if they were to clone the code right here, they can pull it into Git Kraken, they can make changes, they will now be allowed to push, and then you could both individually make changes on your own machine and push them up into the repository, and both of you separately could be making changes to this remote repo, which is pretty cool. And that's the main way that you're gonna be working with other people have access to your project. Now there's another way that you can collaborate with other people which involves pull requests. And this means that um, you're not inviting them as a collaborator directly, but you can you can find any, you know, any repository. Now if I type in Unity and I just search for random repositories online, I can find something and I can I can contribute to it. So if I were to go here and I, and I wanted to request them to add a feature. In this case, if you wanted to request a feature, you would need to fork the repository, which means copy their remote repo to your remote repo. And then once you do that, you now have your own copy of their remote repo. And then I can make any changes on my version, and then I can send a pull request. When they get that pull request, they can see the difference between my version and their version, and if they like the change, then they can accept it. So those are two ways in which you can start collaborating. Just as a reminder, um, the first way was when you invite them directly as a collaborator through the settings over here, right? And then you, you do it that way. This is what I recommend for very small teams where you know each other. And then the other way would be if you wanted to contribute to something that you don't have access to, um, you would need to find the repository that you want. You would need to fork that repository and then you can, you know, pull it down. You can make your changes and then you can send them a pull request, which um, you can also do inside of Get Kraken. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail on how to do that portion of it, just to tell you that those are the two processes that you can use. And either way, like the first one, you're working closely and everyone has full control. Second way, you're contributing to uh, public repositories. You know, there are just two different ways to work. But now that you know that, like that's how you would get started working collaboratively.